The Clarence Central School Board confronted a hard lesson in math tonight, subtracting 40 positions to close a budget gap of almost $3 million. News 4's George Ricker reports that translates to about a dozen actual layoffs. More than 100 Clarence teachers filled the meeting where the Clarence School Board passed a $70 million budget, which will cut 40 positions. About a dozen teachers will actually be laid off. People move, choose to live the Clarence because of the reputation of having very good schools. That has an impact of increasing property bills, which brings in additional tax revenue. And if that reputation begins to deteriorate somewhat, again, you could be backtracking. I'm willing to have my taxes raised to not lose teachers, to not lose programs that are really important to me and many, many other um, Clarence residents. Every slice, every teacher that you take off is a slice against the quality that we have here to offer in Clarence. Thank you. For Superintendent Thomas Cassio, this will be his last and what he calls the hardest budget he's ever dealt with. He says part of the reason for the cuts is that enrollment in Clarence schools has actually declined in the past few years, for the first time in decades. Also, state aid to the district is down almost $3 million. The school board is filling this hole by using surplus funds and raising property taxes by 2.8%. Only 25% of the total population has children in uh, the public schools. So there's 75% of the residents of the, of the community, including senior citizens, that um, have a different opinion about, about raising their taxes. Now, the voters do have the last say on this budget in a district-wide vote, May 17th. But even if they voted down, the contingency budget would have the same 40 job cuts and possibly a few more. Live in the newsroom, George Rickert for the 10 o'clock news.